Okay, in this video, we're going to go over how to fill these three big bottles, the three big cylinders, the Cascade. All right, if you look right here, there is a, an adjustable wrench. First thing you want to make sure is make sure there's no pressure on this line here on your fill line because you will get hurt if there is pressure on this line. So I'm just going to crack it open just to make sure there's no pressure. If there's no pressure, I'm going to go ahead and close it back off. Make sure your bleeder valve's closed. All your bottles are off. What I'm going to do, there's a cap. You take that cap off, lay that on the ground. Right here, there's a hose, fill hose. One end will go here. Just want to snug it down. Don't over tighten it. Get the twist. Okay. Now on this hose, you want to make sure there's no pressure. On these, any of these hoses. Okay, so both of those are, they have no pressure. You're going to take the left side off. Leave the scuba tank fill line connected. So we're just going to take off just the one on the left side. Snug it up on this system as well. Okay, there's that. There is a knob here. You can adjust that. That's what the compressor will shut off when it builds to a certain pressure. We're going to go to max. The max is 4,500. There's 4,000, there's 5,000. 4,500 is as high as it will go. The cylinders in the van are rated. Uh, for 4500 so we got that set the line is screwed on both the air van and the cascade the compressor so anyway we'll go ahead and turn this on <laughs> now that we turn the compressor on we have to turn all these valves on to get air into it. So we're just going to turn on all three. Three, all three valves on the three cylinders are wide open, and we are about 4,100 psi, so we got about 400 more psi to go. It's going to take about 15 minutes. So at this point, everything is hooked up. You can walk away. The uh, compressor will shut off automatically at 4,500. So I'm going to walk away, and then after it gets done filling, you'll see the rest of the video on how to uh, put everything back to operating condition all right the uh, compressor cut off automatically at uh, 4500 you can see on the bottom gauge that all three bottles are now at 4500 psi so they're at 4500 they're all full so the first thing I got to do is I got to turn all these bottles back to the off position okay Turn my, turn my light on. Okay, all those are off. Now I have to go over to the compressor. I have to turn the compressor off. 
Okay, so that compressor is now off. Now I have to go back to the van. Now, if you remember in the other video, I have to bleed the pressure off these. I cannot take this supply fill hose off right now because everything is still under pressure. So what I have to do is open the fill valve. And it'll bleed down. Okay, now that the pressure is zero, I have zero pressure on any of the lines. So now I can unscrew or loosen the supply hose. I'm going to put my cap back on. Snow. And now I will, everything's bled off, so now I will close my, close my fill valve, make sure my bypass is closed, all these are closed. Now I have to take my fly hose off the compressor. So I'll take this off the compressor. I will screw... This hose back onto the compressor. I'll take this hose, adjust the wrench goes here, stays in the air van. Roll this hose back up. And you never want to kink this hose. This hose is expensive. So try not to get any kinks in it. Never put a kink or a crease. And that's basically it. This completes the video on how to uh, refill the cascade on the air van and thanks for watching.